but you need to get some more steps. I told him I can only do what Papa can do. Oh, welcome back in the kitchen. All right, let me see if I can do some zip. of doing it. Smoke sausage in the house today, y'all. When we come back, we'll be doing the smoke sausage. Today, we're going to be using, it's called kielbasa, the smoked sausage. Now, it's fully cooked. You need to know that, because if it's fully cooked, that means you can eat it right out of the pack. But, uh, we don't do it that way. Now, if you get an Italian sausage, it's not cooked at all. You better cook that sucker. But this right here, we are going to cook it. We are not going to use a bun. We're going to use the 35 calorie bread. That's what we're going to use. It has on the 35 calories per slice, whereas a uh, a regular hot dog bun got 120 calories and 22 calories of carbohydrate whereas two slices of this bread only have 12 calories of carbohydrate so we're going to use this uh, instead of a regular bun This pepper and this onion will be used also. So, we'll be back to show you how we cook smoked kielbasa in the kitchen. We'll be right back. Okay, here's the skillet. I love a cast iron skillet. Y'all know me. Papa loved to use a cast iron skillet. And I put a little olive oil in the skillet. Okay. So I chopped the mini bell pepper and the onion. I chopped them up. And... Uh, then, once the sausage gets, sausage already, remember the sausage is fully cooked. But, once it gets, I like mine a little, you know, uh, I like mine, you can see there, 
it's cooking really well and uh, we will uh, see what happens okay now we will get the onion and the pepper and we will take it and we will pour it over in there with the sausage. Now most people don't like that much onion with one pepper, but I like onion. If you know anything about Papa, he loves onion. Now what you're going to do, you're going to saute this onion until it's nice and soft. That's what you're going to do. Saute it till it's nice and soft. Mmm, I wish y'all could smell that. Oh! Whew, can you smell it on Facebook? Okay. All right. So as you can see, I've taken the sausage out, put it on the bread with the onions and the pepper. Now, if you want to get a bun, that's fine. I just like the um, bread because of the 35 calories and the low amount of carbohydrates in it. But, uh, if that's, but if you want to get the bun, oh, that'll work too. Now, I just got to put one more thing on it. Okay, now if you'll notice, I put some pickle relish. Sweet pickle relish on there too. Now, that sausage is ready to eat. I'm going to put a little mustard on it and uh, hold it. I'll be right back. And now, here is the finished meal. The sausage with the onions, peppers, uh, pickle relish, and mustard with some fried golden flake port ring and a healthy salad with mozzarella cheese on the top, three or four kind of baby lettuce in there with all the tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, and that is the way Papa likes to cook his sausage, his kielbasa. And oh, it's gonna be good. And I'll be back in the kitchen with a word from Papa. All right, we are back in the kitchen. And I got here with me Miss BLT. Look at the camera, BLT. So, hey. This is my granddaughter, and she's over visiting with Papa. And if y'all remember, I've been talking about to parents with small children. And today, me and BLT will be talking about discipline. Now, I know you're saying she's only a little baby, and you can't discipline no little... Yes, you can. Listen, uh, parents will not leave their children to their own folly. Children need discipline so they'll be self-controlled. They'll have self-discipline when they get older. Also, you want children to have respect for others and respect for God. That's why you discipline. Now, I am going to give you a couple of points on how to discipline 
Little old BLT. Okay, number one, this is what you're going to do. Don't let us, the baby sleep with you. Put the baby in his own bed. I see it. I don't want to hear him how I got to get up and go to work. Put the baby in the own bed. That's what you do. Don't let the baby sleep with you. And you're right. Listen, BLT sleep by herself. Okay, there's a baby monitor in there so you can hear when she wake up. But don't sleep with the baby. And listen, set a schedule. Put the baby in the bed at 8 o'clock every night. But don't you say, well, uh, uh, she can't, I can't stand to hear her cry. Put the baby in the bed at 8 o'clock every night. And she'll realize that even if you cry, she cry. That's right. You ain't going to come and get her. Put the baby in the bed. Set a schedule. And number four, be consistent. Stick with the schedule. If you're supposed to be in the bed at 8 o'clock, you're going to be in the bed. So start getting the baby cleaned up, feed her, give her the bottle, whatever you got to do, so she can be in the bed. By the time that you have set for her. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, BLT? Okay, now, uh, when you're talking to the baby, look the baby in the eye. Look at, hey, BLT. Hey, BLT. See? See how you look the baby in the eye? Say, I love you. Mm -hmm. You little papa. Look at that. Look at them eyes right there. Oh! And that's some of the tips I'm going to give you for disciplining the baby. Discipline does not mean beating up on a baby. It means teaching the baby. All right. That's all we got for today. And next time we'll be cooking up something new in the kitchen with Pop.